and Serving brought him back in, and here's some shots of Danielson with her rockets that she's delivering. She's now got 10 kills, same as Brittany Hewitt. So those two are really leading the way. The two All-Americans are stepping it up and playing like the All-Americans that they are. But Hawaii is, has battled has battled a, a front line and a team that is inspired. Yeah. And that, uh, you know, and that is Wichita State. Still a long ways to go, only up two here in the, in the uh, third set. 15-13. Hawaii leading by two. That's their biggest lead. And Wichita State having trouble. That time Andrade couldn't get it over Hartog in the middle. So Hawaii now leads by three. It comes at a most opportune time for Hawaii. Serving will be Maeda. Maeda was removed in the second game. That ball goes off Waldorf. Comes back over by Swissler. And a lift is called. It's going to be on Waldorf. Hawaii now leads 17 13 in the third set. Well, we mentioned Maeda, that Maeda has uh, been taken out of this game in the second. Apparently, Dave Shoji, you'd have to ask him the question. I'm pretty sure it's the passing, Jim. He didn't like the passing. Yeah. Passes were too far off the net. So she wasn't playing up to, up to standards, and he removed her, but she is back here in the third. That ball hit over nicely by Sanders. Sam Sanders. 17 to 14. Hawaii leading by three. Wichita State has been able to demonstrate the ability to come back. That ball goes off Croson. Not good at all. Croson handling that. That's an ace for Wichita State. Van Wart will serve it again. And all of a sudden, that four-point lead has been cut in half. 17-15, Hawaii leading. Van Ward serves it again. And that's another race. This one went off Danielson. Dave Shoji is up. Is he going to call a timeout? Yes. So it's 17-16. Hawaii seemed to have breathing room. But now, they're threatened again. Let's go inside the numbers presented by HMSA. Magic number here, 225,280. That's the number of LED bulbs per panel on the new scoreboard. The new scoreboard here at the Stan Sheriff Center is worthy, worthy of your inspection. It is something else. 17, 16. We're in the third. Van Ward serving again. Hawaii needs this point. Not a good set that time. Daniels, uh, Danielson got it over. Uh, Hawaii will, will still get the point. <laughs> Boy, got lucky there, I'm telling you. Dodged a major bullet. Set for Boyato, just got away from her. And uh, Danielson did all she could just to keep the ball in play. Boyato to serve. The ball dug up by Van Wart. And is hit over by Swissler. 18-17. Hawaii leading again by the slimmest of margin. Swissler had a good night last night with nine kills. She's got seven tonight, but only hitting 111. Sarah Waldorf from Augusta, Kansas, serving now for Wichita State. Satelli, that's blocked, but that will go out. Satelli just powered that. That was a power shot. It was great save to the net by Uyato as well. That pass is a little bit tight to the net, and Mita did a nice job of jumping up and saving it. 19 for Hawaii, 17 for, for Wichita State. Coming into the game for Hawaii is Alex Griffiths, 5'6", hey, no senior from Seal Beach, California. And she will serve. Yeah. Yeah. Griffiths waiting for permission to serve. Now the officials say it's okay. Perhaps they're changing the rotation with a substitution. Ball is dug up by Waldorf. The ball hit over by Sam Sanders. And then the overpass put down nicely and easily by Swissler. 
19-18. Hawaii leading by one. And one, one thing about the Shockers, they're tall. Six players, six feet or bigger. So when they get up to the net, they form a pretty good blocking team. Jackie Church serving. Danielson, Uyato, Croson. Croson able to spin that ball off the double block. That went right by Mary Elizabeth Hooper. So Croson contributes, and it is 20 to 18. Hawaii leading by two. Hartong will serve. Crucial point here. Hartung. That's an ace for Hartung. Yet another ace. That is her fifth ace in this match. And Five of them. And 11 for the team. The Antis like that one. They do. They do. <laughs> Hartung again. 21 to 18. Hawaii by three. Hartung serving. The ball dug up. They feed Swissler. Goes off the Hawaii block and it goes out. Swissler from that corner. She has been something. Local girl from Kansas. Went away for two years at Arizona State. Came back. Saw the winning ways of Chris Lamb and came home. Serving this field. Kauai needs to bring this one back. Daniels gets it over. Advantage. Wichita State. Double-handed over by Abney. Here's Croson off the block. Hawaii leading 22 to 19. As we said before, very crucial points. Every point, every pass, every set has consequences now. Satelli to serve for Hawaii. Satelli gets it in. Outside it goes to Abney. She hits it long. Well, it's been a while since Adney's made a mistake. Hit that one just long, avoiding the block of Hawaii. It's only her second error all night long. Hawaii leading 23 to 19. Satelli to serve again. That's an ace. 12th of the game for Hawaii. 24-19 here in the third set. Second ace for Satelli. This is Aloha Ball set three. Hey, row five. They're in row five. Satelli gets it in. The ball dug up. Field gets it across. Maeda, Uyako, Croson! Croson off Waldorf. And Hawaii, by winning the third set, pushes Wichita State back into that corner where the only way they can win the match now is to win the rest of the sets. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank. Here we see uh, Hawaii in a long rally. And uh, you watch Emily Maeda is going to put up a nice back bump set to Satelli, who keeps the ball in play. But how this pole play works is Hawaii does a one, two, three, a one, good pass, two, good set, three, put down by Hartong. Prior to that, there was a lot of broken stuff going on. But in the end, everybody tightened up, and each player decided, I'm going to make the best play. Maeda had a great pass, and we ought to chose the right set and Hartong nice little cutback maneuver it takes that kind of one two three to win rallies and that's how it works Wichita State now behind in this game two sets to one in the first match of the day which was this afternoon Arizona had to go five to defeat the University of San Francisco so coach Chris Lamb is saying, look, if we play very well in the opening sets here, we have to play very well at the end. This match is far from over. We could take it to a fifth, a fifth set or a fifth game. Anything can happen. 
Hawaii, of course, doesn't want to go to a fifth game. They wanted to end. Uh, well, I think Hawaii's been scared enough already. They, they do not want to go to the fifth set because they know that how dangerous this Wichita State team is, how well Wichita State has played tonight. They don't want to give uh, the Shockers a chance to uh, to get to game five where it is really, you know, much more luck involved in set number five and, and much more circumstance involved and uh, less skill. Both coaches in this match have worn painful expression. So rotations now being a check for this fourth set. Well, Tim, if Hawaii's going to be looking to anybody, it's going to be, I think that Uyato's got to look to the middles again. Brittany Hewitt hitting 500. Emily Hartong hitting 364. Hawaii's outsides not hitting as well. Uh, Croson 111. Swissler starts us off. Uyato. Danielson. And the and the two players on the block looked at each other and said, did you see it or did you feel it? I think they felt the win. Serving is Hewitt. They go cross court. I call nicely hit that time uh, by Adney. Adney just saw the open court and took advantage of it. And we are tied by one. This match has been tied numerous times, to say the least. Serving this field. Hawaii struggling, finally getting the ball over a Satelli. Saved by Switzerland. And that ball hit over again by Adney. Adney has the ability to really cause trouble. And and not to go away. I mean to be consistent over the course of the set. Elizabeth Field to serve. 2-1. Wichita State. Hawaii really struggling there, and they didn't get anything. They just seemed to hit the ball and it didn't pay any dividends at all. Not a Wiyato, not a Telly. So if I were Dave Shoji, I'd call an early timeout, even though uh, sometimes not conventional wisdom. They don't, get a, they don't get it going here. I, I think a timeout would wake them up, maybe. But maybe the Canadian Anderson singer will also wake them up. Danielson coming back and hitting that. Danielson now with a total of 13 kills. Here by Swissler. The ball is hit by Andrade, but right there was Hartung. They said Hartung had improved. She really has. She went up there with Danielson. Every phase of her game, passing, defense, serving. We are tied at three, serving as Uliato. Ball hit by Adney. Put over by Hooper. Diving attempt by Croson. Not successful. 4 3, Wichita State. Sanders comes in, replacing Church in the front row. Hooper with five kills, no errors, and six tries. She's done a great job of creating scoring opportunities for her team all by herself. Serving this Hooper. Uyato. Big hit by Danielson. And again, the double block look, they look at each other and say, wow. So why throw they're a few more to, wrinkles now? Yeah, they're allowed to say that now. They're wow. allowed to say wow. Yes. I'd, like to, say, I'd like to say wow after that hit. Danielson serving. And another block. That block, that hit by Sanders never had a chance. Hartung was there. Satelli was there. And the Hawaii block just beginning to work here. 5-4 Hawaii leads. Danielson serving it again. Waiting is Hooper. Sets up Adney. Dug up by Maeda. Ball is hit over by Satelli, but long. Here tied at five. Great dig by Emily Maeda that time to keep the ball alive. Satelli just missing long. Van Wart now has come in. She will serve. Into the net. Not good. Hawaii leading 6-5 here in the fourth set. 
Van Wart had some luck earlier with uh, two aces. Serving his heart tongue. Waldorf puts it in the air, but her teammates just admire the view. She's confused now. She's been aced six times now. She turns over to the bench and says, was that out? Did I take an out serve just then? And the coach said, no, the ball was in. Away leading by two, seven, five over Wichita State. And it's unusual for a libero, who's normally the best passer on the team, to be aced six times. Very unusual. Hard time to serve again. Took up by Waldorf. And the ball hit by Sanders is good. Sam Sanders off a very good set that time by Hooper. Sign of a great athlete just then by, by uh, Waldorf. Right after she got aced, came back with a perfect pass. Didn't even flinch. Waldorf serving. Dug up by Croson. Uyato. Hewitt. That'll be returned. Sanders punches it. Diving dig that time by Maeda. Ball is hit by Croson. Croson able to twirl it again off the block. And Hawaii leads by two. Eight six in the fourth. And one of the reasons why Emily Maeda is in there is because of plays like that as a libero. She's not afraid to give up her body and just crash and burn just to keep the ball alive. Dug up by Van Wart. And there's Sanders. Oh, what a set by Hooper. No wonder she was National Freshman of the Year when she was a freshman. With sets like that, all Missouri Valley Conference, and Sanders just rips it. Watch Hooper twist and turn in the air. Give her a hitter a one-on-one -on -one situation. Jackie Church serving. It's a dig by Waldorf. Saved by Hooper. Church gets it across. Ball is hit by Croson, and let's see. That violation on Hooper. Hawaii oh, leading 9 7 here in the fourth. Croson, the freshman, the newcomer, with that big toss, gets it in. The ball is dug up by Church. They go cross court. And Swissler is there. Ball pushed over by Hewitt. And Hewitt gets a confusion call. Timeout has been called by Chris Lamb. Hawaii in double digits. They lead 10 7 here in the fourth set. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Show you how even this match is. Hawaii is hitting 273. And when you look at Wichita State, they are hitting 257. That's close. Croson to serve for Hawaii. Hawaii leading by three, 10 7, fourth set. Gets it in, dug up by Waldorf. Cooper. And that ball did not get over that time as it was a touch by Field. Hawaii leading by four. It's the biggest lead Hawaii had in that highly contested third set. Grossen serves again. All near the net. Pushed over, and that is in. Boy, what a play. Grossen, another near ace. And Hooper making a nice oh, play Hooper at the net. Was, Very nice play. I mean, that was uncanny. Puts it over, and that ball is just in. Just in. Oriato. And over by Danielson. Chased down by Cooper. That is out. As that ball was pushed wide. Rare error from Adney, of all people. She's been really, really steady all night long. Hawaii well, continues to lead here in the fourth. They lead by four. Ball is pushed over by Cooper. Not a good, not a good set at all. And Adney slapping the the uh, Terraflex because of frustration. 13-8, Hawaii leading by five for the home team. That's a good sign. Uh, 
We're in the fourth set. Hawaii leading two sets to one. It has been a highly contested, hotly contested match. 